Okay, the Irish people deserve to know how the Gardaí, nor their government, is there to protect them. And they are exposing you and your children to very dangerous people. And they exactly know that these people are very dangerous and they've had many reports from people regarding how these people are sexual predators. And basically, instead of prosecuting these criminals, they are actually protecting them. And they are doing so to protect themselves. And I'll explain why now. Basically, in 1999, there was a commission that was put in place called the Ryan Report. This commission was put in place for the children within the industrial schools that was ab abused. Basically, my mum was one of them children within the industrial schools. And um, what she did is she went to the commission and she put forwards all um, the evidence that she had regarding being in the home from the age of 2 to 18. And she also put forwards um, what abuse that she went through. And basically, there was this nun that committed sexual and physical abuse upon my mum. She also... Um, did it to many other girls and they also put forwards this woman's name and the commission said that basically what they will do is they will um, prosecute this woman and this was in 2000 now so basically um, my, my mum and the girls took it for as it was and basically instead of doing anything they they just they they just let it let it be so my mum ended up um, contacting the guardy within Cork and that was six years ago and basically um, they took the case on board, and um, like he had been, he had been calling my mum. My mum had been corresponding with him, and he basically said how she had moved to America. But before she had moved to America, she had fled to England, London, and she had worked within Guy's Hospital. She worked with vulnerable people within the hospital as well. After the commission fully knowing like everything that she had done to the children. But regardless of that, my mum was talking to the police, um, I mean the guardie, and um, basically he had said that if she ever landed in, in, in Ireland, basically she, she wouldn't be allowed to leave the airport, she would be arrested. And, but that, that hasn't been true. We've had many sightings and many reports of her entering Cork. So um, my mum called again recently and basically... He he said, oh, yeah, we were, we were on the phone to America only a week ago. And um, basically, like as you know, it's very hard to extradite her. And my mum said, no, do not give me that. We, we, we know we've heard um, people having, have, having seen her within Cork. Um, he then very got, he got very nervous down the phone. And then um, basically he then said, oh, well, she's not on the terrorist list. So may, maybe she could um, enter... Island, and basically, my mom was like, "No, no, but you, you said that that she, that, she, that if she entered Ireland, then she would be arrested. So she should have been put on that list." And um, then he goes, "Oh, maybe maybe she got in and on a fake passport." And then my mom goes, "But you just said she's not on the list, so you wasn't intending to arrest her in the first place." And then he then says to my mom that basically. Mary, like he said, Mary, you need to write to the Justice Department, which we've done on many occasions beforehand anyway. And basically, she needs to get herself a, sol a solicitor because he clearly knows that somebody at the top, this is six years now, yeah, somebody at the top is not doing anything regarding this case. And I'll tell you why they're not doing anything. Because if they do prosecute these criminals within the church, then the church hold all the secrets regarding the state and how much involvement they had within the industrial schools, the Magdalene laundries, the mother and baby homes. And so basically they are protecting them to protect themselves. And meaning they're not protecting you, they are not protecting your children because they are allowing sexual predators to be among you. And th I'd say this woman is just not one person that they are protecting. They are protecting many of these people to keep their mouth shut regarding the government. And that, that affects you, that affects your children. When, when you go into church, the, like, the government know what these people have done. They know that, that these women, that these nuns and these priests had stripped children naked and, and burnt their skin in, in baths and did terrible things to them. But they're, they're allowing them to go on and be among your children and be among you within Irish society. They're not protecting you. The, the Guardi is set up, yeah, the Guardi is only set up as a way to fool you. It's a way to fool you. They are protecting the people at the top. 
They do not care about you. They do not. And at the end of the day, this doesn't just affect my family. This now affects you because they are not willing to... These, these people, yeah, that need to be in prison, yeah, that have done... That have even committed murders, some of them, and they're walking among you, and your government is allowing it. They're allowing it, and you're allowing it also because nobody's speaking up. So we now need to take this case um, to the EU, which we will be doing, but people within Ireland need to start speaking up because at the end of the day, it's, it's not just a feck, it's not an old, it's not an old case. It's not history when these people are still among you and they can be in your children's schools. They can be in your children's Sunday study group and you're allowing it to happen. So please like and share this video and get out there how the government is not there for you and neither is your guardie. The guardie is there and it's set up as a way to protect other people at the top. They do not care about you. Thank you.